Hi guys, today we're going to look at Oh Man and the Sea. So the old man or Santiago has gone without catching a fish for 84 days. For the first 40 days, Manolin was with the old man. You know, strangely enough, it reminds me of our Instagram account. Like, the moment you post, you get like 7 likes in the first few seconds. Anyway, by the end of the week, you're lying on your couch, pretending you're too cool to care who likes your Instagram post. But suddenly, you get a like, and you're like... So there's a scene where old man and Manolin are hanging out together and they stop at a terrace cafe for a beer where there are these mean fishermen who are making fun of the old man. You know I've realized we all have come across people like these who think that life isn't hard enough as it is so let's make a mean joke which will cripple them with pain and traumatize them for the rest of their lives. What hurt me? No, I'm fine. Thanks, police. The next morning, before sunrise, the old man goes to fish. He thinks of the sea as a woman whose wild behavior is beyond her control. Yeah, as a gender studies student, I kind of feel offended by this. Moving on, the old man goes far out in the sea and sets up fishing lines. The line goes short and he catches a 10 pound tuna. He says to him that he will make a lovely piece of bait. I know, to me an old man. I think for me it started when no one wanted to be friends with me as a kid. I told you I'm fine. But anyway, the old man manages to catch a fish, which pulls the boat further into the sea. So now the old man holds on to the line and waits for the fish to jump. Why he wants to jump? Good question. Glad you asked. So there are four options. Option A, because it's party time. Option B, because if it jumps, its air sacs would fill and it won't let the fish go deep into the water. Option C, because the old man is crazy about Baby Woo's song. Or option D, I don't care. It's locked down. I don't want to study. Well, you guessed it. It's option B. The show is not visible to him any longer now. Wow. Feels like I shouldn't be alive now. Then there's a scene of the old man talking to the wobbler. Don't judge. I talk to my hand too when I'm alone, but everybody does that. No? Just me? Alright. Then finally the fish leaps and is the biggest fish the old man has ever seen. So I'm going to leave a bunch of sad struggling stuff because it makes me sad and if I get sad you get a bunch of these types of videos which will not only bore you to sleep but will bore you to your final sleep. Which reminds me, please do check them out. It motivates me. Thanks. Okay now, back to the show. The old man just before the nightfall hits the dolphin on its head. Did you just imagine this? After killing the dolphin, Santiago decides to rest, and on the other line, the other fish, that is the marlin, is still struggling. It jumps again, eventually the old man harpoons the great marlin. But an hour later, a Marco shark arrives. The old man bravely fights the shark, and here we get the most famous line of the noveler. A man can be destroyed, but not defeated. I just love this quote. Two hours later, two shovel-nosed sharks arrive. I'm telling you now, you're not gonna like what's about to come. You've read this novella word by word. Marco already took 40 pounds and then these free load of shovel-nosed sharks. Close your ears or take off your earphones if you don't want to hear this. 
left nothing but the carcass of the great Merlin. The old man goes back home, thinking he violated his luck when he sailed too far out in the sea. He goes back to his shack. Anyway, the next morning, fishermen gather around the old man's skiff and see an 18 feet carcass of the great Marlin. Manila insists on working with the old man and takes care of him. See, he's the most normal person. All of us have faced disappointment in life. Like the time when I thought that toys do actually talk to each other when we're not looking. Just like the Toy Story told us. But guess what? It's not true. Yeah. It was a tough day for me. I love Hummingway. So you see, although the novel covers only five days of the old man's life, it feels just as depressing as you feel in your life when you get to know that holidays does not mean no homework. Hey, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that this book is sad, but it's so sad that till the end I was like, why bother? You'll probably be alone for the rest of your life, you'll die alone with your pet cat chewing on your face. So, yeah. Enjoy reading this novel. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're doing well. So, completely off topic, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm gradually trying to change the style of my videos. So, I don't know, just talk to me. Let me know, do you like my videos like this? Or, you know, if something was better before. Did I make you laugh even once? Let me know how you would like me to change the visuals on the screen. You know, I'm still pretty new to all this, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with the visuals. Now back to the topic. I read this book last year because I was so in love with the idea of that struggle with life kind of thing. The life of the old man is really, really inspiring. It's heartbreaking, yet it's touching. Although it was really depressing to see him catch that fish and just to lose it to those big fishes. But, you know, that's life. Good things happen to you, bad things happen to you. But I would definitely recommend you reading The Old Man in the Sea. It's amazing. I love it. And if you like classics, you'll love it as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Follow me on Instagram. Let me know what was your favorite part of the video or what novel I should do next. Or just say hi. That's fine, too. And with all of that, everybody have a great day. I'll see you all next time.